Hello guys. So in this tutorial, we are gonna use the Kuka Sunrise Toolbox to control Kuka UI robot using some of the pre-provided examples inside the repository of the KST. So before starting with this tutorial, make sure that you have established a network between the controller and the PC. Now this is demonstrated in a previous tutorial. Also make sure that you have synchronized the Java application MATLAB toolbox server into the, into the controller of the robot before starting. So then open the main folder of the Kuka Sunrise toolbox. Now the MATLAB script of the toolbox is provided in the MATLAB client folder. Open this folder, then go to the M files that start with the initial KST class tutorial. Now each M file that starts with the initial KST class tutorial is a tutorial that is used uh, to show you how to use the different functionalities of the KST toolbox to control the robot. As its name, uh, as, uh, uh, its name says, uh, the KST tutorial circles give you an idea how uh, to use the arcs functions in order to control the factor of the robot. So it moves on uh, circles or on arcs. So I can open this file using MATLAB and you can see that the code is documented. Uh, you can go through it. I'm gonna explain the tutorials in later, uh, later uh, in other videos. Uh, but right now I'm gonna show you how to control the robot using this uh, tutorial script. So first of all, put the robot in the automatic mode. Then choose the MATLAB toolbox server and run it from the teach pendant of the robot. Then hit run uh, on the MATLAB console. And you see that the indicator of the robot is moving in arcs. So the arcs allows you to move the robot in a circle or an arc. This arc could be defined in a plane x, y, x, z, or y, z, or even in 3D. Uh, in any plane in, uh, in space, the plane could be in client, or this plane is defined by a normal. So there are too many functions that are given for uh, controlling the robot uh, to move uh, on an arc. I'm going to be explaining those functions later. So I'm going to show you some of the other examples. For example, uh, KST class tutorial direct servo. You can start it. Again, you have to click on the MATLAB toolbox server from the teach pendant of the robot in order to start the server, then you have to run the MATLAB script. You do this and the robot shall move. So in this example, the robot is soft real time controlled. The first joint of the robot is gonna be moving in a sinusoidal motion. Uh, the joint angles are streamed to the robot online. So there is a control loop in here that is used to calculate uh, the position of the first joint of the robot. And then the, those positions are streamed to the robot. Again, I'm going to be explaining those functions in detail in other videos. Right now, we are just uh, trying to use different functionalities of the KST just to control the robot and to verify that KST is working. So in this tutorial, the end factor of the robot is going to be controlled 
uh, in uh, real time, soft real time, so as to move in a sinusoidal motion along the Z axis of the base. So I'm going to run the MATLAB toolbox server from the smart pendant of the robot. Then I'm going to run the script. You see here the robot is going to go to the to an initial position. And then the factor is in a vertical direction. And then the factor is going to move in a sinusoidal motion along the z-axis of the base. So you can see those uh, functions that start with direct servo, direct servo uh, Cartesian, R for soft real time control. Uh, for example, we can see move line. In this example, then the factor of the robot is going to move uh, on lines. Again, you have to start the MATLAB toolbox server with each window of the robot. Then you have to click run. From MATLAB uh, to run the script. So we see first the factor is going to move on the line in the x direction, then on this direction, then inclined line in the x z direction. Then you see the last line, you have a linear motion, and at the same time, the orientation of the end factor is being changed. So in this example, the lines are defined by in a, an absolute way. That means by x, y, z of the destination point with relation to the base of the robot. On the, other uh, on the other hand, you can define the destination point using relative uh, displacement convention. That means you tell the end factor to move uh, in displacement in the x and the y and the z directions, those x, y, and z directions could be the directions of the base or could be the directions of the end factor. So this method is very effective if you know that you need the end factor to move in displacement in some direction. Uh, so I'm going to run this example so you can see uh, see it uh, on and running. You see, in the second motion, the robot moved in the z direction uh, along the z direction of the end factor with some displacement. So I am using the move PTB line in the factor. That means I need to move the end factor on a line relative to, end, to the end factor. And then I uh, the define as a position and displacement along the z direction. Displacement along the x and the y directions are zero. So I'm going to be explaining those functions in more details later. So in this example, the robot is going to uh, the end factor of the robot is going to move on elliptical trajectories. And again, you have to start first the MATLAB toolbox server using the teach friend of the robot. Then you have to run the script. And here you see first that the factor is going to move in an elliptical trajectory in the xy plane, in a plane parallel to the xy plane of the base. So then another elliptical trajectory is going to be in the in, uh, in the x z plane of the base, then here the robot is moving in an elliptical trajectory in a plane that is parallel to the z y plane of the base. So again, I'm going to show you uh, another example. It is the non-blocking motions.
So here the robot is uh, using an, an unblocking motion that means the robot can do uh, the MATLAB script and the robot can do other tasks while performing the motion. Uh, this is going to be explained right now when I run the script. So the, the connection has been established. You see that the script is uh, is uh, blotting this uh, message that is an unblocking motion in progress. At the same time, the robot is flashing its light while the motion is being done. So this right now the robot is performing an unblocking motion. In joint space and again you can see that the script and the robot are able to do other tasks while the motion is being done this is because uh, in this program the non blocking motion has been used so I'm gonna be explaining the non blocking motion functions in more details uh, in later tutorials